Okay, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about LBC once again. Now, the mainstream media has become a massive platform, not even recently, it's been going on for ages, but especially these days, a massive platform for certain people to come in the name of spreading their virtue. And, you know, they make sure that we know that they are morally superior. What they do is they spread ideas that is designed to divide our society, that is designed to stir the pot, to cause more chaos. A perfect example was the BLM movement coming into the UK from America and causing more division in this country and everything else like that. Let's look at this. There's a caller on LBC uh, calling into the show talking about uh, defending the woke and saying everything that we have achieved is because of the woke as opposed to, <laughs> I don't know, normal people? Let's watch this. There are no ethnic minorities in the UK. There's English citizens, British citizens, Welsh citizens, of whatever destination of descent you are. You are ethnic, English or British. He is the minority, not you guys. And the point I'd make to Jerry, he's the type of guy who decries the woke like Clarkson does. But the woke are the biggest power we've got. And I <laughs> The woke is the biggest power we've got. And watch this, the, the next bit is going to say that apparently any progress based on civility that we've made in the Western world is because of the woke. Watch this. Hey, that is a 50-year-old guy. The woke, the woke are the guys that won't let this take place. The woke are the ones that are making sure that you don't have to wear high heels and a short skirt to work. Mm. What? <laughs> I mean, you can't use this as an analogy. There is an issue because the progress we made in the 20th century, some great, some unnecessary, but most of it was because of civility. And back then, especially in the 19th century, towards the end of the 19th century, actual liberals, true liberalism, which was about liberty, not now. Because these guys, in the, you know, the so-called woke, they are no longer progressive or liberal. They are um, illiberal, regressive idiots. That's what they are. But it's going to continue. <laughs> the future is in very, very good hands. The responsibility of us, though, is to make sure they don't tear down all the monuments. If you take down yeah. the monuments, you tear away the history. Sure. We've come a very, very, very long way. And we should be proud of where we've got to. Watch this. And I say that, last year, I'm about as white as you could get. If you, if you saw me walking down the street, I'd probably remind you to buy milk. We did Ramadan last year. We did Ramadan last year. Ramadan. <laughs> Sir, this is a definition of uh, self-hatred and self-guilt. Um, white guilt, in fact. What, why did you have to do Ramadan? It, 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 firstly, in a self-deprecating way, he insulted his own skin colour, saying, well, I'm as white as you, you, can, you can come, and I'm, I'm a pint of milk. <laughs> that, that's insulting um, to all the others. But we're not really snowflakes, we don't care. But he said, clearly there's a problem with his self-guilt and white guilt. So he said, we did Ramadan. Let's find out more about this Ramadan thing. Because we're embracing the culture. Before that, we didn't even know what it was. What? <laughs> so schools, youth, everything, you know, the future is quite bright. We've just got to <clears> keep <throat> pushing forward. But 20 years ago, I wouldn't even know what Ramadan was. I well, the, you're the ignorant one. So y the only way they could find out about Ramadan was that you had to do Ramadan last year. Where were you all these years? <laughs> there are people in villages in, in England, Middle England, that, you know, they, they're just living their lives. They're still aware about all the other, you know, stuff and cultures and like and skin colors and everything else. Like Muslims doing Ramadan, you don't. <laughs> and also, why is it the job of uh, the Western Brits uh, and in the English people, for example, to embrace the foreign cultures? Why is it not the job of the migrants who come into this country? Why is it not their job to embrace the British culture? I don't understand this. I mean, we have to keep asking this question until somebody actually has an answer for us. Certainly wouldn't be starving all day and trying to sneak a glass of water without being told off. We're doing all right, I think. I think oh, my God. Oh, this is just embarrassing. And just man up and have some self-respect and actually believe that this country is a good country. This country was, in the name of, you know, from, well, from the perspective of liberals, it has always been you know, over the last century. Well, the most tolerant country in the world and the most open-minded country in the world. You guys, it's still not good enough for you. 
You want to completely wipe out the identity of our nation. And then you might be like, well, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy with this version of Britain. Because you want to tear down the system. You want to start from scratch and completely change the image of our great island. But it's just absolutely idiotic. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comment section on my 2CN We Are The Media.